Wow, I never thought in a million years that I would ever look at an equation again. But lo and behold, this equation is the scientific equation for motivation. If you want to increase your motivation, I'm all about taking massive action and motivation has a huge part to play. If you want to take any action, you need to be motivated to take action. So if you want to increase your current levels of motivation, this video is for you because I'm going to share with you how to scientifically, this is scientifically proven, this is fantastic. When I learned this, this was uh, amazing. This is going to share with you how, if you're not motivated, you can increase your motivation, okay? This M equals motivation. This number, if you can make the top number, okay, really, really big, and the bottom number really, really small, you then have huge amounts of motivation. I'm not going to talk about numerators, denominators, and the, the ins and outs of maths here, but this E stands for expectancy. Expectancy. This here stands for value. So, if you, if you, the expectancy is just a, a, it's a word for, do you think you're actually going to achieve that goal, that target, whatever you're going for? If you're expecting that, yes, you are going to achieve this, if you are determined, if you are confident that you are going to expect to achieve this goal, and then the value of that goal to you in your life is high, you are going to be super, super motivated. That makes sense, right? It makes complete sense. If you are expecting to achieve this, if you're going into a business, if you're going into some sort of project, if you're doing anything that's worthwhile in your life and you're expecting, I'm gonna make this happen and it means a lot to me, motivation, super, super high. Down here, this I stands for impulsivity. Apologies for my spelling there. Impulsivity, okay? And this D stands for delay. So, what that means, basically, is if you are in... This is where it comes to distractions and shiny object syndrome. If you are always feeling that impulsivity to, to sort of do something new or you're getting distracted from notifications on your phone or you're being distracted by, I don't know, somebody coming into the room... That's, that's gonna lower, that's gonna increase. If you've got high impulsivity, if you're always going from one thing to another, that is going to jack that number up, which is going to bring down your motivation. The same with delay. If that delay is huge, let's say for example, you are um, starting a business, but you're not gonna see any results for maybe two, three, four, 10, 20 years, that is gonna make that delay super, super high, which means that your motivation is gonna be lower, okay? Let's put this into numbers, for example. Let's say this equaled one. I don't know, your impulsivity was one and your delay was one, okay? So like, it's gonna happen in one day and you've got very little impulsivity. And then let's say your expectancy was, I am going to make this happen, it's maybe a hundred. I know it's gonna happen. Your value is super, super pumped for it. I don't know, if those, if those were two hundreds, let's say for example, you know, that is gonna be a super, super big number. Motivation jacked right up, super, super high, super high. At the same time, let's say your expectancy, let's say you're going into a business model and you don't have much confidence in your own ability, that's bringing your expectancy right down. If the value means nothing to you, if it's nothing of, of value to you, it's not gonna change your life, you're not bothered about it, it's gonna bring it right down. If the impulse, if you're always getting distracted from one thing to another, that's gonna bring this, this number's gonna go, in the other side, it's gonna go right. Motivation right down. Okay, this, this is great. This is fantastic. This is, uh, this is right up my street because obviously of my engineering background. But I got this actually from an idea of uh, Brian Johnson again. I think it's a fantastic idea. I wanted to bring it to you and hopefully this makes complete sense. If you want to increase your motivation, what is your expectancy? Are you confident that you're going to achieve it? And what is the value? If you're going into a business model, 
If you're going into a business model, how much do you value that business model, the outcome, the result of you being successful? If it's life-changing, if this has to happen, value super high. If you're expecting it, if you are pumped, you are ready, you are taking massive action, boom, motivated. Okay. On the other hand, if you're always being distracted from one thing to another, your motivation comes down. This is breakthrough, breakthrough time. Because if you see, if you see motivation in a physical form, and when I say physical, I can just see it in sort of numbers, okay? We can, we can relate to numbers. We know a big number is like 10,000, and we know a small number is like one. So think about it. Get your expectancy high. Get your value high. Going into the new year, going, whatever, whatever you've done in this year, whatever achievements that you've had, whatever progress you've made, the time is now to really think about what are you motivated to achieve. Let me know what you think about this. This has been great. This has been Kev here from lifesuccessengineer.com. Really inspired to take massive action in this next up and coming year. Super, super pumped, super, super excited. Really focusing in on those goals that we wanna achieve, those new challenges, those new targets, those new income streams, those new personal achievements, making things happen. The new year is nearly here. It's time to get motivated. Take care, guys, and as always, Keep taking massive action. Cheers.